nanohub.org. Online simulation and more for nanotechnology. Over here is my friend Kenny Schwartz. He's been with us here at Purdue for a little over 10 years now, and he has an amazing amount of knowledge about all the compressed gases we use to do our magic nanofabrication stuff in there. Some of those gases are ta toxic, some are corrosive, some are horribly poisonous. All those, those dangerous gases, Kenny knows where to get them, how to handle them, how to train our people to use them safely. He also does all the cryogenic material, and cryo is a prefix that means... High school kids, cryo is a prefix that means really, really cold, okay? So our liquid nitrogen, liquid oxygen, liquid argon are all cryogenic materials, and they are very dangerous. Just like if you touch something hot and it, it causes, do we know what cells are? Have we talked about cells in class yet? Okay, so our body's made up of cells. If we touch something really hot, the fluid in that cell boils, pops the cell membrane, and that's a burn, okay? We freeze it with liquid nitrogen, that uh, contents of that cell expands, pops a membrane, and that's a burn, okay? So, we don't want to get that on our hands. Kenny will have his cryo gloves to protect his fingers so he doesn't lose any more. And uh, <laughs> I will have my spare hand behind my back, and I will be stirring with a very, very long spoon. So let's show you. My partner in crime. Oh, yes, that part. And mad scientist. Is I'm Tim very Moore. happy. Uh, he's been at Purdue 37 years. Ah. He has literally taught a lot of the professors how to do procedures, processes throughout his years here at the university. And the Burton Nanotechnology Center is a very special place, okay? There's only a few of these facilities in the world. When we built this, this was the largest clean room facility of any university in the United States. That was 10 years ago. Guess what? There's copycats out there. We've got to be better than you. So there's a couple of places that have actually built larger facilities than ours. The one thing they don't have that anyone else in the world has, the whole world, any place you want to go on this planet, is the quality of ultra pure clean water that Tim produces for our processes here. And this is Tim's baby, he's developed it, he does it, he works with Intel, IBM, and, and other larger scientific companies, including the government, on this water research. So, And so when, when we're making our nano devices, you know, if we're trying to put down single layers of atoms, on our devices. If and we're, we're using water to clean it or to float materials on or float materials off, if there's any contamination in there, it's going to kill our device. Uh, so we use lots of water for that. We also use lots of water uh, to humidify the clean room. The clean room, we go to great lengths to filter the air. You know, we talk, you know, you hear about class 100, class 10, class 1. That's the class of the clean room. That's how many particles of a particular size, and usually we talk about one-third micron, per cubic meter. Okay, so a class one clean room means there's one particle of that size per cubic meter of air. That's insanely clean, okay? The air around us here is like class, approaching a million, isn't it? And in normal inside, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, normal. Yeah, class one million. So the, so the, and we also use that water to humidify the clean room. Okay, we don't want to be, if we use plain old tap water, it's got mud in it, it's got ions, it's got stuff we don't want in the air in the clean room. So we That's use our ultra pure water to humidify with. Um, and so, yeah, we go through between you know, 4,000 to 8,000 gallons of water a day. So, and it's, it's a fun job to have. I really have, have fun with that. So, let's make ice cream. Let's make ice cream. So, what's the most important thing in ice cream? Yeah. Okay, you guys have the right idea. This is what we call. This is what, okay. So this is what we call interactive. If you have an answer, share it with us, okay? So sugar. So the recipe I've got hidden on the back of here so I can look cool like I remember it. Uh, says one cup of sugar. So I got a cup here. Very precise measuring. Okay, don't tell your dentist about this, okay? So what's, what's the other thing that makes ice cream good besides sugar? I fried my heart. Dairy products, right? So we're going to use just a little bit. You know, about this, a, this is the last bunch. Half Finish a cup. Off. Oh, a half a cup? Yeah, half a cup. Half a cup. Just a little bit. 
There we got about right. Now, now we use heavy whipping cream. This stuff's really heavy, okay? I can't pick it up. There's just a little bit in this that weighs about 30 pounds. That's not going to be enough. I'm going to have to add more. Yeah. I opened it. I'm going to use it. Yep. This weighs about 80 pounds. Uh, just, just a tablespoon. That'll be about right. Okay. Now you've got two choices on flavor today. You can have vanilla or you can have nothing. Vanilla. Good choice. Okay. Now, it says on here I'm supposed to use exactly, exactly one. One, one of these spoons. Something. One spoonful. Nah. Perfect. All right. all right. So now he's got all this stuff in here, right? And when you stir it, you guys in front of me, will hear the, the grinding. Like there's sand in the, the bottom. Sand is the sugar. Okay, so he's got to dissolve the sugar. While he's doing that, remember I was telling you about my finger? Personal protective equipment. I'm on my P safety glasses. P -E. My specially insulated gloves. These are called cryo gloves. They actually say that right on them. Now the gloves aren't super cold. They just protect you from they the cold. They me for about. They give me about 15 seconds protection. And they're really loose. So if something goes wrong, you can get, throw them off. Take them off very quickly. The 15 seconds is adequate due to the fact you pour some on in about a nanosecond. It's evaporated and gone anyway. And because nitrogen is most of the air we breathe, it's okay to boil all this stuff off and put it in the room for us to breathe because the nitrogen's already there anyway. So this is what we call a doer. It's like a thermos bottle, okay? And in it, we have liquid nitrogen. Does, do you guys know how cold liquid nitrogen is? That's a good. That, that's an go. excellent qualitative answer. Okay, now we're looking for a quantitative answer. A Put a number on that. One. <laughs> oh, that's, that's how long a mile is, roughly. Yeah, that's a mile. Good, good on you, Nancy. Okay, pop quiz, hot shots. Minus two hundred and fifty degrees, fifty-six degrees Fahrenheit, or Kelvin. How many degrees above absolute zero? Somebody was listening. <coughs> Excellent. Yes. <laughs> you get to live. <laughs> All righty then. Now, this only works when I pour this. I need to hear some ooh, ah. Uh, Try it, will you? That's pretty wimpy. I was going to say they're not nearly as lame Come as on, the group we had speak, earlier. Right? All right, here we go. Here we go. Might be a little overkill on that. So, you got, what's happening? What's happening with the? We're making steam, right? Where's it going? Which way is it going? Everywhere. How about down? Down. Cold air goes down. Hot air goes up. So what that is, is actually we're making a cloud. That's water. That's steam, if you will. It's already ice cream. Oh, no. Well, oh, no. we got to have some chunks, but it's, it's still too runny. So we, we're going to have to use a little more liquid nitrogen. Thank goodness we have an 18,000-gallon tank out there. Wow. We're going to get them all sugared up for the bus ride home. Don't, don't look so happy over there, okay? <laughs> I am already. I want some. You're going to love this stuff. So, hey, have you, you guys... You can be at school, at, you know. I'm already... You guys... I'm repeating myself, but... Who's had a milkshake at McDonald's? No, I've had it at Okay? Have you ever taken your McDonald's milkshake, put it down for like 15 minutes, come back, and it's pretty much the same? Yeah. You know why? Why? Because it's mostly air. And the air insulate, and it doesn't melt. It's, it's it's not really. It's just it, a lot of it's air. So when it does finally melt, there's only about that much stuff in the bottom of your cup. So when they make ice cream that you buy in the store, and it's easy to scoop out, that's why it's easy to scoop out. It's full of air. It, it's full of air. If it wasn't full of air, it'd be like trying to scoop this tabletop. Very very hard. 
So that's one of the reasons that they put so much air and ice cream you buy in the store. Now the way we're making this, start up with the nano presentation, Tim. Okay, so. So <laughs> the reason we call this place the Nano Research Center is that when you take materials and shrink them down to the nano size, one billionth of a meter across, they don't behave like they do when they're bigger. And so that's why the, uh, the cloaking device works, is it's got a layer of silver nanospheres on there that behave really weird when they get down to the nano size. And so when we freeze this ice cream, <laughs> freeze, freeze this ice cream really, really fast with the liquid nitrogen, the ice crystals don't have time to grow. Because you see in the windows at winter time, and they frost over, and they get, it grows real slow, and the ice crystals get huge. Well, guess what? We're going to freeze this as quick as we can, and the ice crystals will be, they won't, whoopsie. That's why you guys are sitting back. <laughs> I got the whole front row yesterday. It was cool. Perhaps. Only if it turns out. Yeah. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oopsie. And if there's any questions, this is my spoon, okay? You all get those spoons. But. All right, give me another shot. I need to thicken this up. That'll do it. All right, now we have to test it. No, 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 not yet. Okay, now the only way you can really test this is you have to check it from the underside. Yeah, I think it's there. Now, and we might need some adults up here for crowd control. There's an adult. Okay. Adults? Yeah. So now, whoa, quiet, 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 quiet. Everybody's going to get a chance. We've got almost enough here. Go ahead. <laughs> 